So let's let's answer some questions. I got yeah. a bunch of questions here. Okay. First of all, the some lady named Nancy says she doesn't and she didn't use these exact words. I'm paraphrasing. We don't mm -hmm. need to see Stuart. We know what he looks like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm joking. That's not the words she said. So, uh, Susie asked, do you include anything like your backstory or college type background? If unrelated to the current industry, conceptually trying to connect with others from the same school or organization. Oh my golly, yeah. Look for relevance wherever you can. Uh, I went to University of Maryland College Park. What I studied back then is not relevant to who I am today, but uh, but the school is relevant to who I am. And there's a lot, it's, it comes back to relevance. And, and by the way, you can look at your backstory and you look at your previous work experience. And this is hard for many to do, but try to peel out of that previous jobs what you did then mm. is relevant to what you do today or shows professional growth. Absolutely, right. Susie. A lot of areas we talk about in the mastermind group about how to do that. They can really help people get value. You okay. see, Michelle, I can make connections but can't get followers on my LinkedIn business page. How do I change that? That's a whole other issue, a whole other conversation. I have a business page. I got a few followers there. I get a few every now and then. I don't work on that. At the end of the day, Michelle, people do business with people. They trust, respect, and like, not companies. Mm. People do business, especially in the travel industry. Mm. They do business, I believe. Stuart, am I saying that right? Yeah. They do business with people they trust, respect, Absolutely. and like. 100%. So focus on making connections as Michelle. Use your company page to, to, to help people learn and give them, help them. Don't focus. Don't get all bad out of shape. Your company page doesn't work. By the way, if you think your company page doesn't work on LinkedIn, look at Facebook. Mm. Sometimes just as hard. Yeah. Let's see. Could you give your book name again, please? Yes, Claudine. The, my number one first book is called Networking for Mutual Benefit. It's on Amazon.com. And by the way, I have a gift. The first, uh, I think the first 10 people who sign up for this mastermind group will get copies of my book mailed to their houses. Uh, by nice. books, that would be plural. Let's see, Loretta says, to prevent it from sounding like a salesperson, wah, 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 mm -hmm. would you put assisting with group travel? It, to, to not sound like a salesperson, mm -hmm. I would use words that tell my most important viewer how I help them. And listen to this, Loretta, how I love to help them. Yeah. You know, and you don't lead with, I got this thing to sell. You never lead with, I got something to sell. You lead with, I want to help you. I want to give you ideas and tips and tricks and teach you the things you need to know to, uh, to travel in a, with a group and be successful. And when people see that you help them learn how to travel with a group, mm -hmm. they're going to want to know, maybe this woman can help me. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I just want to put something in. One of the things I teach in boot camp and group sales success summit that I say over and over again is to be successful in the, in the travel space. The only reason why somebody's going to hire a travel professional is if you do one of three things or really all three. Number one, you reduce stress and risk. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what, what I'm thinking, and I hope everyone watching right now is thinking, boy, what can, what can I share? What information can I share that, uh, that I, I help the client reduce stress and risk for their group trip? Number two, I added value and convenience. What did you do for real? to help uh, this particular group client, whatever, uh, you know, add value and convenience. So, and, yeah. and number three, what, what did I do that transformed the whole experience, the whole experience from beginning to end share what you've done, what you're doing real, like you're sharing real stories of real people who did it. Um, that's what I, I, I'm feeling our travel professionals can use LinkedIn for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you hundred percent, buddy. It's, you know, all that ties in together. And not one thing is the answer. It's the sum of all of them, yeah. how they intertwine. Hey, here's Brenda's question. When you manage your invitations, what questions do you ask? Well, Brenda, you got to sign up for my mastermind group to learn my exact messaging. But here, I'll give you a tip. Mm -hmm. I ask them why they want to connect. First of all, I say, thank you for the invite. Mm -hmm. Then I ask them, what can I do to help them? And then I tell them in one sentence who I am and what I do. And then I end with this. I look forward to your reply. Because if you don't respond, I ain't connected. I don't need to put people on here who won't respond. So you got to respond in some meaningful way. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's just some of the ideas that I use. Yeah. And Claudine asks, how do you respond to people who have looked at your profile but didn't send you a message or invite? Hmm, I don't necessarily get upset about that. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people out there who just want to peek around the corner at me. Okay, and I'm okay with that. I want them to keep peeking at me. 
Now, there is another process that I teach in the mastermind group. If the person who peeked around the corner, I believe is highly relevant to my business, mm -hmm. then I might do something with that. I might go look at their profile. I might send them an invite to connect because I'm a premium user. I might send them a, a LinkedIn uh, in mail. Okay. There's different ways of doing it. Right. Because we get to see, uh, even if we're using free LinkedIn, uh, uh, the last who five. has the last five people who viewed our profile. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've found that fascinating and I've not know how to leverage that because yeah. if they check me out, maybe they're thinking, maybe I want to hire Cohen, but I haven't done anything with that lead yeah. potentially. Yeah. yeah, it's huge. It's huge. I'll tell you that one woman kept peeking at me and I just finally said to her, Babe, stop looking at my LinkedIn profile. I'm not putting out there anything you don't want me to put out there with my wife of 42 years. All right, Milica asked this. How important is posting articles or stories? Critical. It doesn't need to be huge. You don't need to be a big writer. It can be little things. There's lots of different styles of posting and sharing content and stories. It doesn't all have to be yours. Some of it could be. You really want to amplify your brand. Write your own little stories. But I think it's huge to share content, but but not greater than engaging on content. Okay. Engage on other people's conversations. Let's see. I got a, let's see. Susie says, I I'm going to use, I'm going to read the words here. Friggin' drowning, drinking that water and biscuit. Oh, yeah, Susie, don't be, don't be drowning, drinking water and biscuit. Walk up to a stranger and say hi, girl. Just yeah. say hi. Yeah. I, I, I teach networking. You don't need to have all the answers. Just say hello. Yeah. Say anything on LinkedIn. Just say yeah. hello. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Anita, how do you hi? Do we have to get the premium account? No, you don't have to get the premium account to do what I teach. It, yeah. There is a value add to it, but you don't have to. Hmm. Let's see. Nancy, hi, Teddy. Where do, where do I go to manage invitations? Do you go to your mind network? And then when you're on my network, you click on, on the right hand side, you'll see see all. Click mm -hmm. on my network, mm -hmm. then click on the right hand side, it says see all to number. Um, I can't see it on my screen because of the margin with my messages. I don't know, it's there. I know it's there. So, um, it, go ahead. Hey, Teddy, there's a, there's a question from uh, uh, my friend, Jean Ann. Uh, is there, is there any point, now, again, our, our audience is mostly travel professionals. Mm -hmm. Is there any point in a travel agent connecting with other travel agents that are their competition and going after the same types of clients? That's where most of my connection requests are from, people working who I've worked with years ago. It's a great yeah, so question. I, that's a great question, Gene. Ann. Thanks for asking it. So I do connect with my peers. Uh, okay, I don't call them competition. I call them my peers. And I, and I don't, and by the way, I connect with them because we, I mean, it's a, it's a big playground, kids. Yeah, yeah. It's a huge playground. Yeah. And, you know, and, and if Stuart can't do it, maybe Jean Ann can. If Arletta mm -hmm. can't do something, maybe mm -hmm. Jackie can. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, I often introduce my peers to people who need something I can't do. That's a huge gift. A referral. Okay. Yeah, refer my, my competition to, to, to work I can't do. It's a huge give. And I don't worry about my competition seeing what I do. By the way, I want them to pee their pants when they see what I do. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? You know? I think so. I want them to see what I'm doing. I want them to see I'm a little different, a little better. Sometimes I refer to myself as a freak. So, yes, ma'am, connect with your competition. Okay. Let's see. Um, uh, Jackie says, are you going to talk about prospecting? Jackie, I really don't dig into prospecting a whole lot. Um, it's a powerful user LinkedIn search in the mastermind group. We do dig into that. We talk okay. about safe searches. We talked about Boolean search. We talked about the search filters. I'll jump into sales navigator for people who use sales navigator. And we'll talk about that. I love prospecting. Not everybody wants to do it, but I absolutely in the mastermind group, we will talk about prospecting. Uh, Trisha says, is there a type of content that gets more engagement? You know, Tricia, that's a that's the sixty-three million dollar question. Mm -hmm. So, so that's why I say be diverse, because mm -hmm. what you like, Stuart may not like. Yeah. You may want to watch videos. Stuart wants to read uh, uh, quotes, and then Nancy might want to read a blog post, and Michelle might want to read an article. You got to be diverse. You got to yeah. you got to you know you're focused on your most important viewer, but your most important viewer have different perspectives. Mm -hmm. So diversity is great.
Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, Laurie asked, I miss the tea in truth, transparent. No smoke and mirrors. No smoke and mirrors, lady. Really? Let's see, Laurie, <laughs> Laurie said, never mind. Um, then uh, Ray Lewis is the guy. It's the Ray Lewis Foundation. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, is, um, I hope I'm pronouncing Michelle's name right. It is Ray Lewis, his foundation that this lady got work. I got a job for. So, any other questions? Hit me up in the Q and A. Well, while they're typing in their last questions, I had a question about images, and I don't know if you if you dive into that with the mastermind too. But can you give us a, 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 a just a look at the role an image plays on LinkedIn? What oh pictures? Stuart, this is a, I've been I've been practicing with this for a while now. Okay. Um, Come on, Teddy. Go, not Google. Google.com. Um, absolutely. So okay. in LinkedIn, when you post an image, there are some magic that you have to use when you post an image in LinkedIn, whether it's in an, uh, whether you're putting it in, a, in an article you've written or whether you're posting it directly in LinkedIn. Okay. But if I do a search for LinkedIn training, oh no, my words, my words, this is my words. If I do a search for this image, mm -hmm. come on, I just typed it. That's what I want. I want to do a search for that mm -hmm. in Google. And I want to look for images. Because of my style mm -hmm. of naming my images and posting images, not only on my blog, mm -hmm. but also in LinkedIn, a lot of my images mm -hmm. are showing up in Google searches. Yep. So when people are looking for an image, they may find my image because of the way I name it. This mm. is critical, man. When you post an image, you, you've got to name the image appropriately and you have to use the alt text on the image appropriately so that it ranks your images higher. And your images got to be diverse and they can't just be images of a, you know, here's a, here's a, a cruise liner. Here's a cruise liner. Here's a cruise liner. Here's a cruise liner. Mm -hmm. It's got to be images of people enjoying mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Imaging but, is huge. Honest to goodness. And, and friends, you, you, I hope you know that that was a, a, sp a spontaneous question I, I had. And, and we're, we're, you guys are, you guys and gals are in a business that's, it's all visual, man. It's all image. It's all fun. It's all pretty. It's all aspirational. It's all, wow, I want to be there. So what an opportunity. I, I just never realized that you can, how, how much uh, you can leverage an image to build your business. And there's some bugaboos that I've learned how to manage when I'm, when I'm using LinkedIn that others haven't figured out. And, um, but it's absolutely critical. And I teach this, I, I play in the marketing space this much, the, the, here, camera, this much, okay? Mm -hmm. And LinkedIn, this much. But in marketing, your images can't be the same style images all the time. And they have to be real human beings mm -hmm. doing real human being stuff. Okay. And when those of us who are using canned images over and over and over again, canned images, that will fail miserably. Most of my images I create or most of my images, I go get some somewhere that nobody else has got. Yeah. yeah. So I can yeah. be a little bit different, a little bit different, a little bit better. Look, I'm going to wrap this up here by saying this. Okay. This mastermind group is all about helping people, specifically in the context of the travel industry, help you connect with your most important viewer and their influencers. And by the way, if there's anybody on this call who does not believe that the people who pay for the tickets to travel with you are not business professionals using LinkedIn, you're missing out. Because <laughs> they don't, I mean, other than the few of us who are professional embezzlers, money comes from working. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> <laughs> money comes from being a professional and working. Look, yeah. Andy Tennille's looking for me. Is that, no, what's the team now? Anyway, look. I teach this mastermind group and I'm focusing these conversations on the travel industry because you guys there, you have an opportunity to be better than every one of your competition because most of them are not using LinkedIn or they're failing miserable. Yeah. And you have an opportunity to get in front of 650 million people, 170 million people in the U S 
Mm. And, and to help them, to lead them, to engage them, to excite them, to provide value to them and build trust, respect, like, um, pipeline, and opportunity. And that's what we teach in our mastermind group. Wow. So here, this is it, folks. Yeah. This is it. Oh, I don't want to stop video. Let go. I don't want to stop video. I want to stop share. Uh, this is open. Uh, these opportunities are open to you right now. And, I, and I'm telling you that it's going to go quick, but I'm only letting 25, I'm only initially focused on 25 people. Okay. Okay. To get in here. And if you, and all of you who get in here early are going to get two things. The first five people, and I don't think I have five yet. The first five people get an extra one hour te of Teddy time where we sit for one hour. And we talk about what you're trying to do. And I give you very personal, intimate guidance. Can I That's say pretty intimate? cool. Is that all right? That's the first five people get that. The first 10 people get copies of my, a, a mail to your home of my two books. Okay. And, and why? Because I want to help you. I want to help you. I want you to create value. I want you to be successful using LinkedIn as a business, pro, as a business tool. So go to linkedsalespro.com and sign up, okay? I'm going to send an email out. Right? Hopefully, it's not going to be too late after this webinar for me to send an email out and get you fired up and, and, and interested in this because at the end of the day, I want to help you. And Claudine, I am not humorous, lady. There's not a humorous bone in my freaking body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Claudine, You're I hilarious. love what I do. I, I, hope, I hope it's clearly seen that I love what I do and I love to help people. Yeah. So mastermind group, uh, it, it's open to you now to register. It opens to the general public on the 19th. And Is that the right closed. URL? Sorry. Uh, Gene Link, Ange, sit. Yes, sir. Link, Link salespro.com. Sale, that's sale pro. Should there be an S there? I'll make sure we get it. Oh, right. Lordy. Yeah, as Stuart <laughs> said. As Stuart Gene said. Ange. It's Gene Ange. She got it. Wow, She's Gene paying Ange, attention. Thank you. Yes, sales, Link, salespro.com. And, um, and it's open right now. I, I don't think I've got, I don't think I'm, because I'm just getting started today. Yeah. Um, linked. Come on, fingers. Salespro.com. And I appreciate you coming to me and coming to our, you know, my, my followers, my important people with this because so many people have asked for this. And I'm not the pro. I can't teach LinkedIn. I know what I know and I know what I don't know. That's why you're here. Yeah, and I love this. And, I, and, and Stuart, I really, you, you know, I, you, you and I have been connected for years now and having conversations for years now. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I love helping your people. So I appreciate the invite. Uh, Arletta wants to know the cost of the program. Yeah, Jean Ann, thanks for the connection, it, it, the correction. It's, uh, check this out. It's, it's $5.99, but look, I know it's important to manage cash flow. So check this out. It's $199 a month for three months. And you know this is this is the lowest it will ever be moving forward. The cheapest this will ever be. I, my competitors are doing this for put another zero in front of the decimal. Yeah. And I and I just I've decided that. that I want to do this to help people, uh, and I want to make it accessible. So I'm making 199 bucks for three months, mm. and I promise you, huge amounts of value, huge yeah. amounts of growth, yeah. uh, maybe a little bit of humor. <laughs> but I promise you most for, for first and foremost value growth. My word of the year for 2020 is growth. And this is a huge part of my growth and for me to help others. This is great, Teddy. I, I appreciate it uh, very much. And, and e even in this hour together, I've learned so much and I can't even imagine learning what I don't know that you're going to be delivering in mastermind. It's like a whole new, it's all new business development. It's, it's, it's a whole new universe, entirely new, for, not only for me, but I bet you for everyone watching right now. Oh, and I, I mean that sincerely. You. Hey, here's two questions. Nancy wants to know what's the commitment over the six week period. Nancy, check it out. I'm doing this in a Facebook private group that is configured like an educational group. And I've seen very few of these out there. I've done three of them myself. So my point is the content is in the Facebook group for you to con consume and engage upon 
as often or as little as you want across the six weeks or afterwards, because I'm not going to let it go away. Mm. Once we put all the videos, the articles, the content, the information, the help to the PSAs, the eBooks, and all of that in the group, it never goes away. You have access to it for life mm. and you have access to engage with people in the group for mm. life. Now I'll jump in every now and then and say hi after six weeks, but it's yours once you sign up. Mm -hmm. uh, Claudine wants to know how long is the content available? Claudine, did you get that answer for life or until Facebook tells it to go away? Uh, <laughs> but it, but you know, it's, and by the way, I have another piece of magic that I'll share with everyone after they sign up that might even make that even more grandiose. Uh, that I'm going to experiment with doing this as much. Laurie, thanks for joining us. I, I appreciate you enjoyed it, Claudine. Love you. Thank you for the engagement. I got one more over here in a chat. Calls to program. Got it. Uh, oh, oh, Stuart. Arletta said excellent. Yeah. Hi, Arletta. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, well, I, I, I share the same sentiments as you, Arletta. I mean, I'm sitting, I'm sitting here watching Teddy as you are and getting the, getting the download and getting pumped up, realizing that I'm doing, I'm doing it all wrong. Well, I should say there's so much more I could be doing. Yeah, that's the magic. So, all right, buddy. One nine nine a month for three months, Patricia. That's correct. One nine nine a month for three months. Uh, I, you're going to get an email from me in a little bit with a link to it, and um, you know, feel free to ask me any questions. And uh, uh, Arletta said hi directly to Stuart. Now she didn't say hi directly to me. That's uh, I'm playing with you, Arletta. <laughs> You are most welcome, Arletta. I, 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 you know, I did this for all of you. But I also did this for me too. So understand, <laughs> yeah, Stuart. So remember, you did this to you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you brought me in, but I yeah. appreciate it, man. Look, it's two twenty-seven. I think we've accomplished our goal. I think so. Hey, buddy, I really appreciate the invite for me to hang out with your folks. Thank you very much, Teddy. Thank you. It. Thanks for doing the mastermind because I know so many. I need it, and so many of of uh, my my. Uh, my people, my beautiful people in travel space need it. And I appreciate you, you, you sharing so much already, even before we get to the mastermind. So thank you for your time. Right, and buddy. everybody, thanks for being here. All right. See you all later. Bye-bye.